Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Potato Danger 5 GMO Suggested Combinations run, where today we're doing something wild and wacky. Uh, this is one of the combos that you have to random into. The mod won't normally let you select this combination, so you have to choose one of the characters and then hit random until you get the other one that you want, which is why we're starting on this screen. We're going to be playing the one arm, who doubles all the damage that you acquire, and the generalist, who gains melee damage whenever you get ranged damage, and ranged damage whenever you get melee damage. I genuinely have no idea how this is going to work, if this is going to create a weird feedback loop of some kind. I also don't know how the weapon caps are going to work, because one armed normally can only have one weapon, generalist normally can have uh, three ranged weapons and three melee weapons. So I'm very curious to find out how this this is going to actually function. I don't think it's going to create a crazy feedback loop where each damage gets doubled and then gives us more damage, but that would also be pretty funny. Uh, so let's give this a try and see what it goes on. one arm Generalist, of course, we're going to use the weapon that gets both melee and ranged damage scaling, the Cacti Club, because we're going to see if we can make this the strongest cactus to ever exist uh, using this combo. Obviously, in the first wave, the Cacti Club is not going to be a super impressive weapon, because we haven't increased our damage yet. Although, with the one-armed, you're always going to have good uh, good farm on the first level. You're always going to make a decent amount of money, because you just kill things pretty quickly. Here, I'm just going to take some range damage, just to see how much damage we get. So, I suspect that what will happen is we'll get two ranged damage and four melee damage here, but I'm very interested to see what the actual numbers are. Okay, so we got two ranged damage, but we got eight melee damage. So, uh, it looks like this one's gonna go nuts pretty quickly. Um, let's roll here. I'm looking for another cacti club to upgrade that. I could buy the lemonade, roll again. I'll take the lost duck. That's just a good economy item to pick up early. Haven't yet found another Cacti Club, but uh, more luck would be pretty good. So I'll lock the Propeller Hat, and I will roll. I'll lock the Gentle Alien, and I will roll one more time. You don't need to roll that aggressively to, to unlock your weapons on the one-armed, but um, I do want to level up this Cacti Club soon so that we can start benefiting from the higher level versions as quickly as we can. I would love it if we got to the point where we actually were killing stuff with the thorns, because normally Cacti Club struggles to do that. So I, I will try to buy melee damage preferentially, I guess, since we get more damage when we buy the other kind of damage. So I guess we'll take this and we get 24 melee damage. Uh, and then I'll take the Gentle Alien actually over the level 2 Cacti Club. I just want to maximize my farm here. If we can get more thorns flying out, get some piercing damage and that kind of thing, that would be awesome. The The best thing here would be bouncing projectiles. This obviously isn't going to be a challenging run, but it's one that I wanted to try for science, so... I'm excited to see how it goes, as we can get the highest possible numbers. Um... Here, I could just take 10% damage. I think we will want some regeneration, though, so I might pick that up. Or I could roll. We have 10 luck, actually. I bet I can get a level 2 upgrade. We couldn't, but take more melee damage to make our ranged damage better. And we'll take some lifesteal so that we can regenerate. Take the cacti club and the propeller hat. Mushroom, I think we can safely pass on. Let's roll. Level uh, Leveled up, cacti club is pretty awesome as well. By the tree. Um... Claw Tree we will purchase as well. I mean, that's just so much ranged damage. And our, our projectiles already do 6 damage with the uh, the Thorns. The Thorns have low base damage, but scale at 50%. So you actually end up with a decent amount of damage from them if you buy a lot of ranged damage. Normally that's impractical to do when you're playing Cacti Club. But for this build, we should be able to get that fairly easily. Definitely want some regeneration here, because as with all one-armed builds, and especially a melee one like this, um, it's hard to protect yourself because you only have one weapon, so you can only be swinging in one direction at a time. 
Um, here I'm just going to grab the regeneration. I think we want this over lifesteal mostly, so I'm going to pick that up. We will grab this. We now spawn five projectiles. We will buy some melee and ranged damage and some ranged and melee damage there. Then definitely the broken mouth. Uh, do I need percentage damage from the injection? I suppose that's worth picking up as well. Basically, we we have a ton of cleave with this uh, weapon, so it, it just spits thorns at everything. But because it fires in uh, straight lines out from the target rather than towards enemies, it's unlikely to hit things at really long ranges. But if there's a bunch of grouped enemies, it acts kind of as a, as a cleaving attack or a big AoE attack. Here, I could pick up some harvesting. It's probably not too late to grab eight harvesting, and we'll take ten luck as well. Uh, I'm going to grab some more damage and health and damage. Roll again. Um, Ugly Tooth is pretty good for Cacti Club because we can slow the enemies. So I'll probably grab that, and then let's reroll. Definitely want the weird food as well because healing right now is our main concern. Obviously, our damage is going to be not a problem. Although against elites, we might suffer because we don't have great single target damage. Uh, another thing I could consider buying is some range, just to make sure that we're constantly actually able to attack. Really enjoying how quickly all the enemies are popping here. <laughs> that That's very fun. And when we hit a big group of enemies and it just sprays projectiles everywhere, that's great. Okay, um, I don't think this is the right decision, but it's too fun to, to take the knockback here and just have everything get ping-ponged all over the map by the thorns, so we're going to do that. And I'll take some max HP. I, just, I want to just build a little bit of... Um, buffer into this character so that we don't die. Roll here, and I will roll one more time. Gonna definitely buy Hedgehog. That's kind of the perfect item for this build, since we both use both damage types, and that will spike our damage into the stratosphere, I assume. Don't quite have the damage to kill some of these enemies in one shot yet. And our thorns are still only doing 10 damage, but... As we buy a little more flat damage and a little more percentage damage, that should change pretty quickly. I'd love to get some uh, crit chance as well. Definitely killing all these trees. This actually isn't as free a run as I sort of thought it would be when I saw the ridiculous damage numbers, just because Cacti Club is such a bad weapon. Uh, so even though we are scaling all of our damage, it's still not doing amazing for us. Um, I could buy the melee damage here. I think I'm just going to take the dodge, because I do want to get some defensive stats online, so we'll take dodge and armor. Uh, going to level 4 Cacti Club is this early is amazing. So we get six projectiles when we hit an enemy now. Still only scale at 80% of our melee damage and 50% of our ranged damage, but since we're building so much, that isn't a massive problem. By the helmet, I will... I'm actually not going to buy mutation, because melee damage isn't the challenge. I want to boost my ranged damage, mostly. Um, and I think that the best way to do that right now, actually, is to buy percentage damage. And I need defensive stats as well, so... Just have to make sure that we're actually guiding those. It is funny which ones the game won't allow you to select. I mean, 
obviously this isn't a balanced combination, but it, it's not uh, broken in any way, like non-functional in any way. Broken in the sense of uh, actually not working rather than in the sense of being unbalanced. Um, so it's it's just interesting which uh, which combos the dev decided not to include. You'll notice actually that our, our income is not even that high just because we're a melee one-armed character and we haven't built any harvesting or anything. I might actually build some harvesting. No, nah, I think it's too late. I'll just get the speed because we definitely need that. Take the black belt before we go into wave nine because that's uh, going to help with our XP income a ton. And then we will buy these. Um, the knockback, I did buy the boxing glove, but the knockback honestly hasn't done much. So I'm going to buy the whetstone anyways. Definitely happy to see Silver Bullet. That will help us actually fight the elites. And we will take a metal detector as well. Going to wave nine. Would have loved to find uh, some piercing shots before this wave, but the projectiles are, are helping us just clear these enemies so quickly. The number, it, it's really satisfying when we hit a big uh, group of them and it just fans out from us. Actually doing decent damage as well at this point. Not the most impressive damage of all time, of course, but uh, respectable. And when we fire a lot of shots, it does help us kill a bunch of enemies. Definitely need more maximum HP before we fight an elite, especially... Oh, I missed that uh, tree. I, it might actually have broken right at the end. I didn't see it. I'll take the piggy bank when we get it in a crate. I'll take the cake. And even though it costs us percentage damage, I will take the coffee. It's just too efficient to pass on, even for the one-armed. Take four armor here. That's awesome. Definitely helps with our defensive stats. And we will take some max HP. Here, we're going to buy this, this, and this. And then roll. Uh, roll again. I need to find some more flat damage. I know I've passed on a couple instances of flat damage, but I definitely want to improve it further, of course, since that's the whole fun thing about this build. I'll take the Shady Potion, I will take the Missile, get our percentage damage rolling again, and we'll uh, buy the Fin as well. Life Steel will be good to stay healthy, and the move speed, of course, is something that we're currently missing. 40 HP, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable, though our damage against Elites is still going to be pretty weak, even with the Silver Bullet. So, gonna need some defensive stats before we face the Elite next wave. We haven't seen any geckos or anything like that as well, which obviously is a challenge for this build because we're leaving materials everywhere. So, I'm trying to pick up as many as we can. One thing that I have learned, um, just so, sort of reading comments, I think uh, this sort of generally applies to players in my comments, um, or at least some of the vocal players in my comments, is people overvalue picking up materials during the wave. Uh, obviously it's important, but more important is making sure that you're killing enemies and uh, killing trees and checking all your corners for tree spawns and stuff. Um, a lot of the time you we'll get more value out of doing that and just having more total materials than walking all the way to like the corners of the map to pick up three or four materials, which you can just get more conveniently in the following wave. And you might get 10 more materials this wave because you killed an extra couple enemies by not putting yourself way out of position. I'm going to buy the alloy here, uh, of course, because we wanted crit chance, and this should give us a bunch of damage scaling. So let's see how much damage we got. We've got 64 and 28, and we go up to 94 and 40. Um, let's take some percentage damage, and then I will take some regeneration here. Don't need the cacti club, but I will buy this, this, and this. Roll here. Uh, I will roll again. I'm really looking for things that help us kill the elite. Um, you know what? Let's buy the marksmanship because 
So funnily enough, this actually uh, is going to... So this gives us 36 uh, crit chance, which is less than our range damage, because it only scales off of our permanent ranged damage, range damage we've actually bought. But this lets us turn ranged damage into crit chance as well, which is pretty fun. Uh, do I want to do that? I think what I'm going to do is I will buy the marksmanship, um, just because this is a broken run already, so, you know, the marksmanship ban doesn't really make that much sense to me. But just because this run is going to struggle with the elite, I'm going to lock it for the elite wave and see if we can actually beat the elite uh, au natural, and then we can pick up the marksmanship afterwards. All right, us. Um, a big group of enemies like this should help us as well, because we can have our thorns help clear the waves for us. And as it turns out, because especially because we have that uh, that silver bullet, we were able to kill the elite quite quickly. I just want to get to 100% crit chance as well as the ridiculous amount of damage that we're doing, which the marksmanship should make very easy. <laughs> Obviously, that item remains quite unbalanced. <laughs> Starting to get uh, some income from the hunting trophy, but next wave when we have a lot more crit chance, that should really accelerate. Um... Yeah, I'll take the black belt. Obviously, losing luck is a little painful, and we don't really need the XP gain at this point, but every little bit of damage that we get is so valuable for this build. I'll take the exoskeleton here as well. And the takeout, definitely. More enemies on the field. That's more good for us. Eight melee damage. Awesome. And then we are only getting uh, melee damage here. Oh, so if I buy the mastery, I'm curious. So we're going to lose six ranged damage but we should gain 12 from buying, uh, no, we should gain, yeah, we should gain 12 from buying the mastery because of the weird way that one-armed and generalists interact. Let me see if that's right. So if I'm correct, then after I buy mastery, we should have 76 ranged damage, even though this decreases our ranged damage. Yes. So that's a fun interaction as well. We'll buy this and I will buy the little muscly dude and then I will roll. There we go. The bandana. Uh, let's buy even more damage. That's what we wanted, the bandana. Piercing shots. What I really want is ricochet, but bandana is definitely the next best thing. Um, I know this isn't like a, a super actively maintained project anymore, but the I would love if you're out there, uh, the author of the mod, I'd love to chat with you because I really do enjoy this mod, and I'm interested about some of the the like decisions that you made. I'd I'd love to hear more about. Um, And, of course, if you intend to, like, update this in the coming expansion, then I would love to talk about that as well. Uh, Gummy Berserker, I'm going to recycle. Uh, we'll take some ranged damage, which is actually going to be more crit chance, I think. So, I think I gain 8% crit chance when I take 2 range damage here, so it's actually the, the level 2 ranged upgrade is going to be worth more than the level 3 crit upgrade. Let me see if I'm right. Yeah. So I did the math right there. That's also funny. Um, we'll take the sunglasses. I will take the bandana. The weird ghost, I don't think we can support with this little healing. Um, so I will pass on the weird ghost. I'm going to roll here. I will take the alien magic. And I will definitely take the razor blade as well. 
we probably would have been fine with the weird ghost, and we do need the maximum HP, but this run does have a hard time not taking damage. Just uh, we heal it reasonably quickly with our uh, our life steal, but it, we do have a hard time not tanking damage because of how uh, we're the one armed with a melee weapon. <laughs> This will be a good palette cleanser run, so I'm going to need to post it after I've done a really difficult combo, probably. <laughs> I try not to do too many, like, really, really hard or really, really easy runs in a row. Um, both, like, for my own uh, enjoyment and also because I don't want things to get too stale. Uh, practical research, of course, we're recycling Shady Potion, I will take. Uh, let's take some ranged damage. I could buy defensive stats, but I'm just going to buy damage when we see it. We'll buy the Razor Blade and roll. Handcuffs, we cap our max HP at 59, so sadly not the number that we wanted to. But, of course, the amount of damage we get from this is going to be ridiculous. We've, we're at 110 ranged damage and 82% crit chance, and 158 melee damage. Now we're at 238 melee damage, 142 ranged, and 114% crit chance. Uh, let me roll, I'll grab the muscly dude here. I'm gonna buy the wings as well, just more move speed. And I think I do want more lifesteal as well. Just making sure that we're able to keep up our uh, HP is gonna be important as we go into the next couple of elite fights and everything. Another hunting trophy would have been awesome. Of course, we could get even more projectiles if we had, like, Baby with a Beard or something like that. Sift's Relic would, of course, be a top-tier pick for up, pick up for us as well because I'm leaving so many materials on the ground. Okay, I walked into, like, every attack there and need to pay a little bit closer attention, or I will die humiliatingly. Um, Cyclops Worm, definitely taking that. Our percentage damage is extremely low for a, uh, for a one-armed build. Here, I'm just going to take the regeneration. I actually want to make sure that we've got a little bit more of that. I'm very excited to go into a Horde Wave. And then I will take the Adrenaline. We currently don't have much dodge, but we do intend to build some. We'll buy the bait for sure. Clover, excellent. We uh, love dodge, and I will take the Metal Detector as well. Lucky Charm. <laughs> Maybe we can't buy a Lucky Charm. We'll lose so much damage from buying this. Although 30 luck is still good, but I think we're actually going to pass on the Lucky Charm, because the amount of damage we'd be decreasing by is just so ridiculous. If only I could have gotten another hunting trophy before the Horde Wave. Alright game, we're looking for Ricochet. Give me Ricochet. <laughs> I, it's so satisfying, like, watch this. So I, I swing and just the entire screen just disappears with these uh, projectiles. Just the, the big, like, carve out that happens when they all spin off in, into space and hit everything. Only 900 income, obviously 142 on the ground, but actually less than you'd expect for a hunting trophy horde wave with a character this busted just because we aren't able to pick up our materials and we aren't hitting we haven't gotten too many increased enemy spawns either um i'll take the melee damage here there we go some more enemy spawns we'll take a beanie as well get to 40 percent move speed missile definitely we need more percent damage and we're already over our hp cap so i don't need to buy that 
funny, extra stomach. Uh, this pulls a unique out of the pool, although we're, we're HP capped, so the extra stomach doesn't really do anything. I think I'm just going to pass on that. Um, let's roll here again past the Lucky Charm. One more reroll, and then with 300 remaining... I could buy the Snail, but I don't really care about enemy speed. I could buy the Banner. Range is not terrible, because uh, Cacti Club is a very short-ranged weapon. But losing 2% lifesteal is a little dangerous. I think I will buy the Banner, though. Um, although attack speed, obviously, is not something we're desperate for, because we're the, we're the one-armed, it still is what's going to help us kill elites quickly, so I do want to buy it. Currently, still need some more healing or some more dodge, um, just some more defensive stats. Because right now, when I take a hit, it's actually a big chunk of our health, and it takes a minute to to heal it back up. So we are still having a little bit of trouble with our HP. Uh, definitely the takeout. We'll recycle this. Another takeout, sure. Um, yeah, I'll take some ranged damage. And then don't need the diploma. Don't need the broken mouth. Uh, alien tongue. I think we want geckos and uh, Sif's relic more than we want alien tongue or anything. So I don't think we'll grab that. I will definitely take a bag, though. Coffee does cost me 2% damage or 4% damage, but still worth it. Ritual gives me a bunch of damage and some life steal, so we'll pick that up as well. And I grab the metal detector, the bait, and the goat skull. And then for 59, do I want an alien tongue? I think we'll pass on it again. I'll buy the coupon though, and the hedgehog, and then go to wave 17. The rib cages here are <laughs> not posing a significant problem. Um, they do give us something to to bounce shots off of that then hit everything else. How much are my thorns doing? 400? So yeah, so the thorns are actually killing stuff now, which is kind of awesome. It's, it's not frequent that you see the Cacti Club thorns actually doing anything. Even on like a normal generalist or an apprentice build, they often will just not do that much because their scaling is bad and their base damage is bad but because we're so over curve the thorns obviously are going nuts here uh definitely taking that we'll take this as well sure and then yeah just some melee damage five regeneration will help a lot we're up to 13 now i'm gonna re-roll and ooh, a gatling laser okay well i mean i mean Obviously, we were doing the Cacti Club thing, but I'm not going to turn down a Gatling laser when we see one. Uh, this is going to fire every 20th of a second. And should just <laughs> obliterate the elite with how much range damage we're doing. So now I specifically want to buy melee damage because it'll increase the, the damage of the Gatling laser the most. Uh, we don't need crit chance. Oh, wait, no, because crit chance is ranged damage. So we'll, we'll buy that. And then we will buy the night goggles as well. Uh, community support won't do anything. No enemies are going to be on the field anyways. All right, let's see how fast this elite dies. <laughs> Sorry to the Cacti Club fan, but you know, sometimes you get a legendary. This feels like playing um, like an old RTS game when you've activated a cheat. 
and it spawns the Gatling laser unit for you. Uh, this is the little kid playing Command and Conquer build. All right, I'm going to recycle this. We don't use explosion size anyways. Um, metal detector at this point isn't going to do that much. So I guess I'll recycle it. I'm just going to go for the most possible damage. I will take the tentacle, though. And then here we will grab crit chance, because that'll boost my ranged damage. Um, we will take the night goggles. I will still buy the warrior helmet and the leather vest, just get our defensive stats higher. Power generator. We've bought a lot of speed, so the power generator is actually really good for this uh, build, especially because we're the one armed. So we're going to get uh, like 100% damage off of it. And then we'll buy the beanie and the lure. Roll here. Compass. Uh, we don't really need. I'll take the gambling token and I'll grab the plant as well going up to. Oh, oh I guess now we're a Gatling laser build, so I want lifesteal instead of regeneration. I was still in the mode of regeneration is better for us, but <laughs> not with this weapon. Never found a gecko, never found a Sith's Relic, so we're going to leave a lot of materials on the ground this wave. We'll be sad. But at least we've got lots of move speed. which makes them easier to hoover up. The hunting trophy, even just by itself, was probably worth a thousand materials, because uh, obviously we hit 100% crit chance very early as well. I think that's, that's a funny shape. I think it's a consumable under this crate, not a second crate under the crate, but it was very interesting. Um, take this, we will take this, I will recycle the Estes couch, and then more move speed is more percent damage, uh, which is fine, so we'll grab that. Insanity, this gives me, uh, ranged damage at the cost of percent damage, but I think is actually still gonna be good, even though we're over crit chance. Um, a sharp bullet will reduce my piercing damage, but... We do have, will give us uh, another pierce. We already have four pierce on the Gatling laser, though, because it comes with a bunch of pierce, so we don't really need that. Uh, I'll buy the lure just for fun, and I do like that mastery actually increases our ranged damage, so I'm going to buy that. We don't have any structures, so the improved tools won't do anything, but I'll, I'll just pick it up anyways. Fairy should boost my regeneration. Now, at this point, we're just running up the score by getting every stat as high as possible pick this up and this and the shady potion and I will roll um, and I will actually I maybe could have bought the I didn't check the price on it but the the bunny would have been worth two rerolls because it would have given me the free run free one for emptying the shop and then the free one for itself so we would have gotten last reroll and this reroll might actually have been uh, correct to buy it there but this way we were able to actually buy another item and in this case this is going to be 8% damage, but this is going to be a bunch of range damage. I think this is better. And let's go delete these bosses. And there we go. The uh, the one second boss fight, uh, of course, with the Gatling laser, it's going to be even easier with 61,000 damage dealt on the Gatling laser. All right. Well, obviously, that run was was kind of nonsense, uh, but and marksmanship made it even more nonsensical, giving us uh, 168 uh, crit chance and 46 range damage. Um, but then, of course, we also had 332 melee and 252 range damage. Um, the I could have used more gentle aliens. That would have been really nice for us. But overall. Obviously, this run was ridiculous. Just checking our economy items. The piggy bank worked out. We got 100 uh, materials from it, so uh, often worth it to pick this up out of a crate. We got 1,500 from the hunting trophy, 630 from the recycling machine, 435 from the bags. A little on the low end for bags. We didn't end up with... Uh, we ended up with 100 luck, but not, like, an absurd amount of luck. Uh, 
And overall, this was a just a nice nonsense run where we quickly realized that the character combination was broken and were able to just run up our numbers to the highest possible level as a result. All right, friends, hope you enjoyed this one. It was fun, if not particularly uh, strategically uh, interesting, but, you know, strategically demanding, uh, but still a great time for me and I hope for you as well. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment and hit like and uh, which does help me out in the metagame of the YouTube algorithm. And of course, you can subscribe to my channel for more Brotato runs and other strategy games. We'll be back with something harder next time, and I'll, I will catch you then. Cheers, folks. GG.